What would you tell yourself going into school? Don't be afraid to ask any question, whether dumb or stupid. Uh... Call me Leaking flange here. You need to watch it dripping. Okay, so we have leaks here regardless. We know that. But we can always look at the drain. Do you see flow on the drain? Which, it doesn't look like it. It's not wet. So the fact that the drain's not wet means that the coil is probably fine. Or I guess we could just go to five. So we had high vibration with the belt on. Pull the belt. The motor vibration settles out. Right? Well, I'm thinking it's because that adjustable pulley has not been adjusted and we're riding down in the bottom of it and it's spreading our belts apart. And I'm feel, I feel like that's what's causing our vibration right there. This sheave is completely shot. Because that pulley is grabbing the belt. Because of the groove, the belt's having to break free every time it yeah, rolls around. Yeah. Pulling itself out of the bottom of that pulley. Where it shouldn't have to do that. It should be just a nice even glide. That's now damaging the bearing. So I got Armando here. A couple of months into heavy commercial, it's got a lot of residential background and you see he's also just a, what, a couple of years out of school. The question I have for him is one, coming from residential into heavy commercial, what are your thoughts on the difference in the, in the two environments? Just overall, experience so far it's been a crash course for me uh having to relearn and re-educate myself as far as schematics and reading wiring diagrams it was something i never really did as far as retrofitting we've never really had to deal with that because we're installing new equipment right. and learning how the new functions of water source versus you know refrigerant that's been my major thing and the scale of everything the large volume scales and learning to adjust everything right. like walking into units now versus i could carry a unit it's, <laughs> right. it's mind boggling for me <laughs> so it's definitely been a change for me adjusting to this and i'm liking it it's, i'm not a hot attic but i'm on a rooftop still but i enjoy it it's something new learning new stuff is something i like so i'm not stuck in one area i'm out and about doing stuff i really like yeah and enjoy learning so my second question is, still being fresh enough out of school, if you knew then what you know now, what would you tell yourself going into school? Um, just overall focus on everything as far as like the functionalities of everything, of the parts and mechanisms and everything, what controls what. And just go back, I would jump into commercial rather than residential just because I, I'll stay more sharper, basically, out of school versus not going to residential. All right. Like, I definitely understand this a lot more after a month versus coming into this and forgetting everything and re retraining myself. All right. So I definitely learned a big thing. You get what you pay for, I guess, education-wise, and focus on that. That's been my learning overall so far. <laughs> So this is the chiller we had all the repairs on a while back. You know, this is the one that we replaced the liquid line service valve and it had some head pressure issues and compressor unloader rebuild. Anyway, it's doing great since we were here last and we did end up picking up the contract on this on this account and we got another building next door, so that's great. So we got Eric here today. He's on our chiller team here at Air Performance. You know, he's been doing chillers for about a about a year now. Um, and you know, he, he came up through just an apprentice inside of APS and, and showed a lot of great characteristics. And uh, we brought him into to the chiller team since then. And anyway, working on regular commercial equipment versus getting into chillers. You know, what, what's your thoughts? What do you think about it? Well, first off, your mediums will change. So instead of air, we're using water. Um, you've got to understand that your simple AC will have minimum safeties. This chiller is going to have X, Y, Z, A, B, C, and D. 
Um, so the, the intricacy to the equipment is a lot to learn, a lot to grasp, a lot to understand. You take it slow, you get your basic fundamentals down. Uh, you got a guy like yourself holding to mentor you, teach you, open your mind. First thing I got before I got this opportunity was a notepad and pen. You're going to need that. Take notes, take side notes. Every interface is different. Every communication wire is different. This, that, nicky knack stuff on every manufacturer. So it was eye opening. It's exhilarating. It's, it's nerve wracking. But if you get your basics down, fundamentals, you can grow and grasp chillers very quickly. So if you could tell yourself then what you know now, what would you recommend to yourself that would have really helped you uh, develop better? You know, to today. Don't be afraid to ask any question, whether dumb or stupid. Uh, you know, you're gonna open these panels with a thousand contactors and fuses. It may scare you. Go through your wire diagram. Understand your your symbols, your legend. Um, have good have good resources around you. Wire diagrams. People like Holden. Um, don't be afraid to ever ask any question. You know, whether it's simple, out out out, out the, off the wall. Um, just ask every question that comes across your mind, whether you're holding a nose, I've got to do some research and dive deep into manuals, be ready for that. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to, to try things. Cool. Well, that makes episode five for the uh, vlog. And uh, I just thought it'd be a fun day. You know, just kind of went around, uh, checked on a couple of different jobs, see how everybody was doing. Uh, I did want to show that uh, I got a cool little mount. It's a magnet, camera mounts too. I can stick inside of units. Think I can get some pretty cool shots and some really unique angles that I haven't really got so far. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it. I didn't actually get to use it today, but uh, I really see this coming in handy in the future. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed Armando and Eric uh, and their kind of perspectives, their thoughts. You know, the two guys who are at very different stages in their career, but both still fairly early in what they're doing and what they're trying to accomplish and goals they have and uh you know they do a great job uh for me and uh yeah i just i thought it'd be fun to just get their perspective get their thoughts you know see what what they think and just kind of just on on, on the spot you know how they feel about stuff you know it's, it's nothing fancy nothing critical just you know what do you think anyway We'll see you guys on the next one. Just MTT. Make the time. I appreciate it. I love you.